Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve some problems on GROE quant. So we are asked to select the correct answer from the following problems. So question one says we are given that quantity A is x squared multiplied by y squared and quantity B x y q. And we are told that x is negative and y is positive. So what is quantity A? Since x is negative, it means x squared is positive because the square of a negative number is positive. And since y is positive, we have that y squared is also positive. And in this place, we have the product of two positive numbers. So x squared plus y squared, since they are both positive, will be positive. So in this case, x is negative and y is positive. The product of a negative and a positive number is always negative. So x, y is negative. What about the q of a negative number? We already know that the square of a negative number is positive. But the q of a negative number, the odd power of any negative number is always negative. So we have that x, y, q will be negative. Since quantity A is positive and quantity B is negative, it means that quantity A is greater. So the answer is A. So for the next problem, we have that the hypotenuse of a right triangle with leg length 7 and 24, that is quantity A. And quantity B, we are given that that is 25. So for us to get the hypotenuse in quantity A, we will use Pythagoras theory since we are told it's a right triangle and if here is 24, here is 7, what will h be? By Pythagoras theorem, h square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square. 24 square is 576, so we have 576 and 7 square is 49. 49. So 576 plus 49 is 625. And so we have that h is square root of 6 to 5, which will give us 25. And in quantity b, we have 25. It means the two quantities are equal. So our correct answer here is c. For question 3, we are given that quantity a is 10 to the power minus 4 times 10 to the power 3, and quantity b as 10 to the power minus 12. For this quantity A, since they are the same base, we are going to use the laws of indices, which says A to the power M times A to the power N is equal to A M plus to the power M plus N. Meaning, when you multiply two numbers with the same base, we add the powers. So since both are of the same base, 10 to the power minus 4 times 10 to the power 3, we give 10 to the power minus 4 plus 3. And minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So, and quantity B is 10 to the power minus 12. 10 to the power minus 1 is always greater than 10 to the power minus 12. So, in this case, quantity A is greater. And so the answer is A. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.